welcome students in this video series we will try to understand all the practicals for a tyr bsc it awp subject advanced web programming subjects i am using an id named as visual studio 2022 and in my earlier video i had explained how to go for installing the visual studio 2022 So let us start with the practical number one in this video. The first practical is creating an application that obtains four integer values from the user and display the product. Now we need to develop this application not as a web-based application but as a console-based application. You know that there are variety of types of applications are there like console-based application, web-based application, mobile-based application, Windows-based application, and many other. So let us start developing a console-based application, which will be obtaining four integer values from the user and displaying the product. So let's start. I am starting my Visual Studio 2022, and I am interested in developing my console-based application. For that reason, I am creating a new project. Here, I am planning to select the language which I am going to use is what you see here. The type of application is called as for a platform called a Windows, and the type of application is a console-based application. It can be desktop-based application, it can be a IoT-based application, it can be a mobile-based application, etc. But I am interested in developing what a console-based application. So selecting the language as C# platform of Windows and type of application as console. Further, there are two options are displayed in front of you. One is console app, and second is called as console app dot net framework. As per your curriculum, you need to select console app .NET Framework. So I am selecting this, and further given a click on Next. This asks me the properties of your project. The current project name is console application file. The location which is decided by us. The solution name. Everybody knows in Visual Studio we are creating the solution. Solution consists of multiple project, and which framework I am going to use for developing this application. I am interested in using the .NET Framework 4.7, and further, I have given a click on Create. So, a new project got created, which will be accepting four integer values, a console-based application, and further, it will be displaying what a product of it. So, this is the basic environment of this Visual Studio. So, this is the program.cs. If I closed it, a Solution Explorer. If I closed it, don't worry. You can get it activated again. You can go to the View menu. Here you can select the Solution Explorer. <coughs> it shows me that currently I am working with a solution called a Console Application One, which only has one project, which is also named as Console Application One, which has a C# file named as Program.cs. Everybody knows that a C# code is been written inside a file with an extension called as .cs, and few properties, references, and configuration of your project is been there, and we can allow to go for modifying it. In what we can say our uh, solution and go into the properties. Now I would like to see the program which has been written, so I double click on this program dot cs. So this is what the code is. In that you can find various namespaces are being imported. What are the namespace? You know that namespace is the collection of classes. So I don't want the rest of the namespaces. I would like to only use the system namespace. And you know that why we are using system namespace because we are interested in using the class named as console, and console class is present inside a system namespace. So I removed all the rest of the namespaces which I don't want. This is a new namespace, or I can say user defined namespace called as console app file, which has a class named the program, and which consists of a main method, which will be running our program because everybody knows that. From the main method, the program execution starts. Now, here I would like to write my small program, which will be accepting four integer values and further displaying their product. So here it comes. I would like to declare now five variables. So I declared variables like int x comma y comma z comma. Okay, you want to provide? You can provide the names like number one comma number two comma number three comma number four. And further, I am planning to have a answer as the last variable, which will be storing the product of all these four numbers. The data type of these all variables has been specified by me as integer. Now I would like to display the message to the user. 
for displaying the message to the user we are using console.write method or console.write line method the write method displays the content remains on the same line and write line displays the content and goes to the next line exactly same like in java print and print ln so here i am displaying the message by using the class called as console which has a method i am using write and here displaying the message as maybe first number and the number need to be accepted inside a variable named as number 1 so i mention as number 1 equal to console dot read line now you can please check the read line is accepting a value from the user and returning the value in what your string format so please remember that the read line accepts and returns the value in what a string format but the issue is what the number 1 is what a integer so we need to convert the string value into an integer value that the reason we had mentioned over here in dot pass fine so the read line accepts the value pass it in the string format it has been passed to the method called as the parse of integer which convert the string value into an integer value and further stored it inside a variable called as number one I repeat the same thing for the number 2 and number 3 and number 4. So again I am displaying the message by saying console.write second number. Then mentioning it as number 2 equal to in dot parse in the bracket I am providing console.readline. So which again what we can say accept the string value converted in integer and stored inside a number 2. Again I am mentioning as console.write third number. Accepting the value, sorry, semicolon will be missing. Fine, here I am mentioning number 3 equal to in dot parse again specifying it as console dot read line. So three numbers are accepted, and now last number need to be accepted by saying console dot write. Here I am providing it as third number. And further I am providing number 4 equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. So the value has been accepted at the fourth number. Now I am interested in going for. Now I am interested in going for what? Calculating the product. For that reason I am specifying it as answer equal to number 1 into number 2 into number 3 into number 4. So the product of all these four numbers has been calculated and the answer is stored inside a variable called as answer. Now further I would like to display the content so I am displaying by saying console dot write line and inside write line I am displaying by saying product plus the variable called as answer. Fine. So the answer is the value which has been displayed to the user and I would like to wait for a keystroke. So again I am going to specify by saying console dot read key. So the program will halt if you are using 2019 then you don't require to mention the read key it will automatically halt. But in 2022, the program ends abruptly once because it needs that a keystroke should be there to wait uh, for waiting the program or halting the program. My program has been absolutely completed. Now I am trying to go for running the application. So I give a click on start. It compiles my program, builds my program. And now I just try to increase the font size. So here it is going to help me to display a message called a first number. I displayed the or entered the first number as 2. 3, 4, 5. So all 4 numbers have been accepted. So it is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2. So the answer comes as what we can say 120. So this is what expected inside the practical number 1A of your AWP advanced web program. So what we have done in this program, we have declared 5 variables. We have displayed the message, accepted the value, displayed the message, accepted the value, displayed the message, accepted the value. Last thing, again displayed the message, accepted the value, calculated product, displayed the product and then waiting for what here, keys to. So this is the way by which our program is what we written. What we have developed is a console based application. Thanks a lot student. In our next video, we will try to learn about what we consider practical 1B.